Good afternoon. Today is the 14th of October and here we are at uh, Agia Marina, I think you pronounce it, which is a place a few miles uh, west of Hania um, in Crete. Hania was the capital of Crete until about 1971. It's a very ancient city actually. Um, now it's um, Heraklion. Uh, but uh, there is some very, very good um, opportunities for looking at old cars around here. We're not going to um, actually look at that Serena there, because I'm not exactly sure what engine is in it. It's very difficult to tell when you're in a country like this. Number plates don't really give you any chance to check anything, so we'll just sort of walk around the area near where we're staying. Um, you know, this morning my lady wife and I went um, snorkeling and um, scuba diving, which was good. But look, we know why I'm really here. It's to spot old cars. And I suspect many of you who've been to places like Crete before um, have found lots of delight. We're really going to be focusing more on kind of the stuff from the 80s and 90s, if I can find it. There's actually some 70s stuff here as well. But, um, you know, stuff like this, this old Suzuki Alto, there's tons of these around here. Suzuki's are very, very popular in Crete. That looks like it's been hand-painted at some point. Um, the example from, I think, the late 90s or early 2000s, I think. Um, sometimes they have different names for cars over here. For example, the N13 um, Nissan Sunny was sort of the cherry over in Greece. And sometimes you actually find special Greek models, like the 1.1 Citroen um, BX that used to be sold, um, I think Greece and some other markets, and then the 1.6 Mark II Ford Granada. Yes, 1.6 Mark II Ford Granada post facelift that Mr. Coleman, rubbish mechanic, has challenged me to spot one. I haven't seen one yet. I saw an N13 Sunny last night. Um, but uh, yeah, there we go. Another Alto from that sort of time period. And then look at this, a pre-facelift Mark I Renault Laguna in a similar colour to the one that I filmed on No Budget Reviews back in July. Um, also 1.8. Let's have a look and see if we've got trim level here. There's just stuff like this everywhere around here. It's just absolutely amazing. See, the climate is a lot kinder. It's about 29 degrees today. Um, yeah, RN this one, so wouldn't really have those alloy wheels on it. Um, yeah, the climate's just a lot better around here than it would be uh, in Britain this time of year, so good spotting. Let's go and find something else to have a look at. Mark 1 Focus, there's quite a few around here. Actually, they're not that uncommon in Britain, to be honest, but look at this, like, sun fade on this car. It's really not so much the rust that's the big problem around here. It's the sun fade and paint, and eventually that paint will give away and the car will rust, but because we're right by the sea, pretty much, um, that's not bad. I don't know what the... MOT equivalent in Greece is, but I suspect it's probably not as strange as it is in Britain. It probably explains why so many cars have survived and also the climate. Something that we did get in Britain, but only very briefly, was this Fiat Tipo saloon. As you can see, this one's a higher car. We got these very briefly between 2019 and 2020, and actually I have driven one of these. There were two specifications of this country, the Easy and the Street. The street had the sort of black alloy wheels and things, but much more popular in a place like Greece. The Turkey they're built in, and that's not too far from here. So yeah, I mean, obviously you sometimes see these, but they're, they're very uncommon. You can still buy a brand new Tipo in Britain, but um, not one of these. Oh, viewers, one of the most common cars you'll see out here is this uh, Hyundai Atos Prime. Hyundai's are extremely popular in Greece and much more so than Britain. This is actually was sold, I think, as the Amica over in Britain, um, but it's based on the old Atos, which is in the sort of late 90s, I think. But yeah, there's loads and loads of these around here. Nice, clean-looking W30 Toyota MR2. Convertibles aren't actually that popular in this, um, this, on this island for some reason. I don't know why. It's because the, the sun is so strong. You don't really want it blaring on down in your head all day. So most of the cars have actually got the normal roofs on them, but there are some convertibles around here, and that W30 MR2 looks quite nice. I drove one of these a couple of years ago, actually. It was a very early one. It was a 2000 um, from the sort of first batch that came into Britain. Anyway, someone's obviously joined themselves. One Focus Gear Saloon. Again, look at the sun damage to the paint. Um, I've seen quite a few of these here for some reason. 
This one has obviously had a front end sort of impact on it at some stage. Another white T-post saloon for good measure. That one looks like a sort of low specification one. Not every day you see tons of those in Britain. Down by the beach we have a Mark 1 Clio. It looks to me like quite an early one. Unfortunately, this country you just don't get information from a plate about how old the car is or anything. It's just a 1.2. Got the older style Greek plate on it. Yeah, there's loads of stuff like this around here. Oh, viewers. A Mark III Hyundai Accent Saloon. <laughs> I'm so excited, viewers. And I don't even know why. We got these in this country for a couple of years. Only the three-door hatch in Atlantic spec. Never got the saloon. And another Hyundai Accent. This one is a uh, Mark One. The Mark Ones in Britain are exceptionally rare. They're quite common over here, actually. I have driven a uh, Mark One Accent a couple of years ago. It was an automatic one. Um, looks a bit like this. Right, any more old Hyundais lurking around the corner? Viewers, I spotted this whilst up for a walk last night and it's back. Yes, viewers, it's a Hyundai X2. I don't know whether they were sold at as uh, over here in Greece, but yeah, in Britain, the X2, this late shape. The uh, face of before this, for the Pony or XL, depending on where you were in the world, was called um, the X2 Pony in Britain. So a couple of rear lights on this one. Again, Hyundai's are very, very popular in Greece. Kia's not so much. I don't know why. It's got some paint fade, but um, <laughs> I want it. That's what I want to drive cr around Crete in, one of these. And then I'm not sure if it's got a petrol engine in it, but look at this ancient Datsun. Just look at that. Marvellous. Mark 1 Aventis, of course. Yet to do an Aventis on the channel. I'd like to do an Aventis, but... Um, We'll have to wait until I get one. It's like a pre-facelift one as well, so it'd be from the late 90s. And I've just spotted something else down here as well. Excellent. An old Swindon Civic or Swindon 5-door or MB Civic. This one is in actually quite nice condition. Looks to me like a pre-facelift. In Greece you didn't even get an airbag in one of these. 1.5 LS. Be from about 1996. Fantastic. I have driven a few of these. Um, not one as early as this, actually. We're doing well. Wow. Oh, that's a pickup. Sold them over here as well as in South Africa, then. And, of course, a Deu Lados. There's quite a few of these here. Ooh, viewers of Mark II Sayat Ibiza. I've seen a couple of early ones of these, sort of pre-faced, maybe it's from 1993 to 2002. This is the second facelift one, the sort of 2000, something like that. This one's going rusty, but in some weird places like up there that you just wouldn't expect uh, that car being in Britain. Would you see these in Britain really at all? Oh yes, viewers, a Kia Mental with a big exhaust leak. And a base model Alfa Romeo 156 1.6 Twin Spark. I can't remember if we got the 1.6s in, uh, in Britain, but uh, here's one, obviously Greece, they favour the smaller engines. Fantastic. And I've just crossed this road without getting run over. We can have a look at that over there as well. Just one second. Yep, Mark II Hyundai Accent, three door. I would have preferred a saloon, but you know, I'll take what I can get. This looks sporty with these alloy ones. It's sporty. It's like the MVI model or something. Notice his accent. Okay. Right, we'll keep going. I'm not even counting that facelift to Mark II Clio because um, we've got other things to find. And is this by magic? Another Mark II accent. This time a five door. Bit of a low specification of this one. Such a common car over here. Same it is, one of the million of them over here. And a Peugeot 306. I think this is a phase three. We'll have a look at the rev counter views to make sure we can talk about it. 
can see very well. Oh, it's a petrol. Excellent. Champion USA edition. Never heard of that before. And a nice Mark 1 Yaris. And an Astra G. Because why not? These Astra Gs and Mark 1 Yaris is all Yaris hate. Oh, becoming a little bit rare in Britain now. But this sort of stuff is all over the place here. Brilliant. A base model Fiat Seicento with hubcaps, no wheel trims, and some orange indicators as well. Brilliant. Old Octavia, we'll have to check that and see if we can discuss it views first. Don't know, maybe they're not cut, not so rare. We will continue up this little street past the Taverna. And a Vectra B Saloon, facelifted one. The Edition 2000. I think we know when that was made, don't we, viewers? 24 years old and fabulous. Very similar Mark II Punto to the one that I had on the channel recent No Budget Reviews. And only for tonight, special The Drunk Chicken. Does that mean the drunk chicken is going to come out and perform tonight for a cabaret act? I really, really hope this Hilux from the late 70s is a petrol viewers. This is amazing. Different shades of green. Someone's had to go up filling this bodywork many, many times. I'm not sure if I'll go far through an MOT. Absolutely and utterly fantastic. Very sad looking set of beef here that's had a bit of an accident. Airbags still intact, but um, I don't think that's going to be long for this world, unfortunately. We've got some pretty bad rust in a weird place there as well. Hmm. When I was in Morocco back in March, we uh, saw quite a few of these Citroën C Elise. This is a petrol one. Um, but also sold as a Peugeot 301. I can't remember whether these were made now. We didn't get them in this country, of course. We don't really like little saloons like this anymore. Um, unlike clearly in Greece, where they sell them still. That's it, viewers. We've completed our walk for the day. So, you know, will there be a part two? I don't know. We'll see what we can find. But in the meantime, <laughs> yes. Thank you ever so much indeed once again for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like this video, comment below, and we shall see you again very soon for some more spotting, hopefully, in sunny Crete.